Good morning guys. I am at a beautiful little rest area off of 57 in Illinois. <laughs> in my last video I mentioned I was headed east and eventually back south. I must say this rest area is one of the cleanest I have been in. It's right off of Rend Lake and it's quite pretty. It's very early in the morning still, so there's not a lot of light. <laughs> I haven't had any problems sleeping overnight in Illinois rest areas. I've stayed at two so far. And both have been clean and quiet. Yes, you can hear the trucks at this one, but uh, I mean, that's to be expected at a rest area. You can see my Jeep over there. I am about to get back on the road and I'm headed into Tennessee today. First, a stop in Kentucky. I am in downtown Paducah, Kentucky. Well, it appears most things are closed around here until 10, which is what time I'm waiting for the quilt museum, the National Quilt Museum to open. Let's go check out the waterfront. Oh, it's so foggy this morning. Very cool looking. I just hope it comes through on camera. <laughs> Looks like a barge out there. There are tons of little eateries. Uh, at least one is all vegan. I'll put the name of that down here. Antique shops, art galleries, art studios, which I think open up for events. Yeah, it's a cool little downtown area. I wish more were open right now. So here is what I primarily came to see, the National Quilt Museum. I came here years ago and I loved it, so looking forward to it. massive. It's incredible.
this one. Well, that was awesome. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't disappoint. <laughs> I gotta get back on the road. I have about a three and a half hour drive ahead of me. I'm headed to Tennessee. Well, I made it to my campground for tonight. I am at South Cumberland Campground. It's a state park. And I'm in full shade, but doesn't matter my battery bank is full and so it'll get me through for the time I need it to I completely forgot that the Sun goes down earlier here and I had planned to make a nice cooked meal but I don't want to be fighting mosquitoes while I'm cooking because the Sun is going down it took me a lot longer than three and a half hours to get here I ran into traffic and that was mainly due to construction and at one accident but uh and i can be a little slow on the hills so <laughs> but i'm here <laughs> i am in the foster falls campground loop there are several campgrounds in this park and the foster falls campground if i'm understanding it correctly is the only one you can really park beside right up at your site uh, the site I have is 21 and this one is practically on top of me and the picnic table is on the opposite side but I couldn't move it I wanted to move it over near, near the fire pit I originally had my Jeep kind of backed in right here but I decided I don't need the table and I just went ahead and backed in the Jeep where I want it. It's a little more level there. It wasn't level at all here in this spot. <laughs> a lot of the outside sites on the outside of the loop look pretty nice and a little more private. It's these inside sites that aren't that great. I think what I'm gonna do is make a fresh wrap for dinner. That'll be quick, easy, nutritious, delicious. <laughs> and then I'm gonna clean up a little bit and go to sleep because I need it. I need some sleep. Tomorrow, I'm gonna check out the falls here a little bit and then make my way back to Florida. <laughs> another, well, I'm going to need the sleep because that's going to be another full red eye 11, 12, who knows how many hours it'll end up taking me trip. <laughs> good morning, guys. <laughs> I slept good last night. I slept in later than I intended, but I obviously needed it. <laughs> so I'm packing up this morning and gonna go check out a waterfall. See the waterfall through the trees. <laughs> a lot of people down there. This is going to be a heck of a climb going back up. <laughs> I didn't expect that, but uh, I think it's going to be worth it. <laughs>
I didn't know I could go swimming down here. It looks fun. <laughs> Compared to the glacier water that I was in in Colorado, this is almost warm. <laughs> it's beautiful. I wish I'd known you could actually swim here because people are actually going up behind that waterfall. So it's not that far from where I live, a day's drive, maybe a day and a half. <laughs> but I'm going to come back here so I can swim. Wow, what an awesome swimming hole. I walked all the way down there. I had no idea you could swim. And so my plan is I will be back here. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is make sure I get one of the outside loop campsites. Those are much better sites than what I had. I wanna come during the week because it was packed here at the swimming hole. I mean, <laughs> trails of people trying to trying to take the trail coming back. I kind of came early enough that I avoided some of them, but it was still pretty busy. Uh, I spent a couple days. Uh, it's nice. So I'm headed back to Florida today. I have a long drive ahead of me. So I'm going to get on the road. When I get back to Florida, I have something I'm really excited about coming this week and so that's why I'm rushing back and uh, I will share that with you in the next video. Until then, I will see you next time. Bye guys!